Bill Peduto says he's running for a third term as Pittsburgh mayor. He announced today that he'll seek the Democratic nomination in the May primary. Political editor John Delano has more on why the mayor's running and the likelihood that others will oppose him. And I am running for a third term as the mayor of the city of Pittsburgh. In a pre-recorded online town hall with supporters, Bill Peduto made a 67-second announcement and then focused on the community leaders he had gathered. I appreciate the work that you've put in in making your communities better. Over these past seven years, we have a number of examples, but it's, it's not really the brick and mortar of the development, but it's more about the people who call these neighborhoods home. The last year or so have not been easy for the mayor. The pandemic has created a multi-million dollar hole in the city budget that could result in the layoff of hundreds of city workers. And last year's racial protests, while generally peaceful, did result in violence and looting and protests outside the mayor's home. We've got to start playing offense. And offense does not mean, nor does it, require violence in order to be able to answer to violence. We have to substitute that lack of hope with an opportunity for everyone to see where their place is in the future. And we can do that through an aggressive economic development strategy that recognizes the importance of all individuals. The last mayor to win a third term was Tom Murphy 20 years ago, and he barely won beating then-Councilman Bob O'Connor by just 699 votes. This year, Peduto expects to be challenged, as some say he's not progressive enough, while others think he's too liberal. So far, retired police officer Tony Moreno and community activist Will Parker, the nephew of Willie Stargell, have said they are running. We're also dealing with the realities of the Black Lives Matter movement and equity and justice. And in all those situations, no matter what the crisis that was thrown at us, we came back stronger. John Delano, KDKA News.